Hey magicians and welcome to my latest review video where I will be going over Boom! The Collectibles 3-piece set. I'm super excited about this. It's actually a combination of three different sets. It's packaged in this giant box here. And I actually haven't seen any reviews of it online. So I guess I'm the first, which is pretty exciting. So let's take a look at this giant box. Um, it's really big, obviously, and it has a label on the side, so I guess we're just going to have to get it open. Alright, so here they are. We have three boxes in here. Um, so let's get them out so we can get this big box off the table. Looks like the first one is Jalapeno. Second one is Roller Coaster. Cool. And the third one is Loco Louie. Alright, so let's just get this box out of here and take a look at these bad boys. Here they all are, and I gotta say, I love the packaging. Let's take a moment to appreciate this. Collectibles, the logo, the U and Bulls is like these bull horns. On the top it says, every cowboy's nightmare. And on the side it says, it's man against beats. Beast in the world's toughest eight seconds in sports. And on the back it shows all three of them, which I have because I got this set, and it says, Includes four pieces of fencing. So it looks like there's fencing. Yeah, there's fencing in there. Nice. Okay. So each set has the bull, the fencing, and a cowboy, for the exception of jalapeno, which instead of fencing has a barrel. And instead of a cowboy, I think you get a little rodeo clown, so he distracts the bull, I think. I don't know if he actually rides it. Looks like he could. His legs are spread. I don't know. So let's open Loco Louie first. So here's Loco Louie, and he looks amazing. Look at the color on that guy. He's a really, really dark gray, um, but he has speckling just a little bit on his flanks and his, the side of his belly. And he's really well sculpted. He's super detailed, and he has little shiny eyes. They look real. Other interesting thing is that he's kind of heavy. Like he feels more like a resin than a plastic model. And he has a little plastic base with his name, Loco Louie, and a little peg that goes into this hole in his belly so you can just pop him on. And so he stands up and it looks like he's actually bucking, which is really cool. And there's fencing that comes with the set, it just snaps together just like that, just your standard stock fencing. And I guess that keeps Loco Louie from getting into the crowd and giving everyone a horn stab in the butt. See if I can get that it looks like this one's there we go. It's just a bit it's just a bit stiff. So there's some fencing. And then there's the little cow. I think this might be Yeah, that's a cowboy. And um one arm goes up and down so he can hold on to his hat or he can put his hand on his I guess put his put his hand on his hip. He can't even do that. He just kinda goes down like he was about to dab, but he didn't quite finish. And, oh, this arm moves as well, so he can move that up and down. And he's, his legs are apart, so he can sit He can sit on Loco Louie if he wants and see if he can ride the Bronco. Now, there is something I've noticed about this. I think it says on the box that it's 1 to 32 scale, which is stablemate size, but if you look at it, it looks a lot bigger. Like, if you put this cowboy next to a stablemate's rider, I mean, he's huge. Look at the size difference. So unless the stablemate's rider is like a little kid, this guy is like Paul Bunyan size. He is big. And if you look at the bull next to a stablemate's horse, you can also see that there's a really big size difference. And I guess that's about right for a bull. Like, they are really thick and wide, but I think it's a little big. So maybe it's just a discrepancy. It's especially noticeable with the rider, but I do think that the collectibles are a bit bigger, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about merging your sets. So that's Loco Louie. Let's take a look at the next one. Let's look at uh, roller coaster. So here's our boy roller coaster. 
And, uh, wow, look at that pose. Looks like he's about to flip over. Um, his horns, and this is really cool, I noticed this on the website when I was shopping, his horns go in different directions, which actually happens on real bulls. And those, that's really interesting. I thought that gave him a bit of character. Uh, he's a really shiny black color. Looks like he's got some white markings on his feet. Uh, he's got some pinking on his muzzle. That's cute, even though he's supposed to be terrifying. And like uh, like his friend Logo Louie, he's got a plastic base and a little stand, so you can stand him up like that. It looks like he's about to fly into the air. And here's the cowboy who has a yellow shirt rather than a blue shirt. Uh, the head moves, the arms move. It's basically the same guy from before, only he's got a yellow shirt instead. And again, huge size difference. Like, maybe this is supposed to be a kid. I hope so, because, you know, if you put the cowboy on a stableman's horse, it actually doesn't look that bad, so maybe that's what it is. Anyway, so he can sit on roller coaster. Cool. All right. Moving on to last one, jalapeno. So here he is, the last of our bulls. This is jalapeno. And you know, I'm not exactly sure how the coloring conventions for bulls work. I'm not sure if it's the same for horses. If this was a horse, I'd say it was a really rusty red roan. But I don't know if roan is a word that's used for bull colorings. I'm gonna have to look that up. Anyway, he looks really cool. I think jalapeno is a great name for this bull since he's red, like a jalapeno. Both of his horns go down. He's got some fur on top of his head. Got a little bit of a beard going on. And he looks like he's twisting, his tail's curling over his back. This is a really interesting mold. Um, our rodeo clown is different from the cowboys. He's not wearing chaps. Uh, his arms, one of his, both of his arms are straight. You know, there's not a bent one. His head does move just a little bit. Um, but he can't ride jalapeno, not only because the tail is in the way, but also because his legs just don't open wide enough. Uh, let's see if one of the cowboys from before can ride. This is the cowboy with the yellow shirt from Roller Coaster. Uh, looks like it's gonna be tight. I don't think... Wait, well, I guess, yeah. If you want to slip the cowboy in like he's about to fall off, I guess he can ride, but it's a little sketchy, so maybe jalapeno isn't for riding. But here he is, and instead of fencing, he came with a barrel. It says briar on it. It's hollow. It has a big square hole in the bottom for some reason. So it looks like he's about to come around the barrel, and here's our clown, who I guess is trying to keep him distracted, maybe while the cowboy who just fell off can get out of the ring before Jalapeno picks him up on those horns and tosses him into the crowd. I don't know. Anyway, Jalapeno looks really sassy, so I think he might be my favorite. But, um, tell me what you think. Who's your favorite? Is it Jalapeno? Oops, Local Louie? Or is it Roller Coaster? Put your favorite bowl in the comments below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, magicians!